To start the half Turkish get up, Steve's going to roll over onto his left side to the fetal position. He's going to take an underhand, overhand grip on the kettlebell, roll back to his back, and then press the kettlebell overhead on the left side. Now, we're going to pause here for a quick second because we're actually going to have Steve turn around, but I wanted to show you this so you got into position safely. So at this point, the elbow needs to be straight, the wrist needs to be straight, and the shoulder needs to be down and away from the ear. So Steve, go ahead and lower that back down and then turn around so we can see it on the other side. All right. Notice we didn't pass that over the face either. That's a real, that's a good safety cue. So we're doing the same thing over here that you guys just saw on the other side. We're going to press overhead. So again, nice straight elbow, nice neutral wrist. The shoulder's going to be down and back, so there should be no space underneath the shoulder. should be packed down. There should be lots of space between the shoulder and the ear. This same side leg is going to be flexed, so we want the left foot flat on the ground. And then our right limbs are going to be slightly out at an angle. We want to maintain the kettlebell to sit over the shoulder the entire movement. Steve's going to drive through this left heel, keeping this arm vertical and perpendicular the entire time so that he can sit up onto his right elbow. You'll see shoulder stays down and away, so it's packed the entire time. Nice vertical, perpendicular structure here. And then from here, he's going to sit up onto that right hand. And you'll notice he's got space on both shoulders here. So both shoulders are down and away from the ear perpendicular vertical structure, lots of stability in here. So if this is the first time you're doing a half Turkish getup, you want to start with a lighter weight because this gets heavy very quick. From here, we're just going to sit back down onto this right elbow, pause, and then back down to the back. And then from here, we could either lower it and take a rest and go into our next rep, or we could do short reps. So Steve, just do one more at real time. You're going to sit up on your right elbow and then onto your right hand and then back down to the elbow and back down to the back. To lower it, you want to bring it down to your chest, roll back over to your side, and dump it to the floor the same way you picked it up to protect the shoulder.